Hi everyone, welcome to ProVisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and, very often, an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset, not only for you but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed box brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action, to give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D mockups, and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of Closed Box. I think this one is just what we need. Great. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. This is how our baseball cap 3D mock-up looks like. Just look at how detailed the fabric and seams are. They look incredible. Let's turn off Drop Shadow to fine-tune our 3D mock-up. Let's add the design to the front path. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've prepared two design elements. Let's add the first one. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. Save Design. Now we will turn the model around and add the design to the back path. Clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. Looks great. Let's save it now. Okay. We've added the design to the cap. Need to color all the details now. Let's do it. Starting with the front path and adding the color for border. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually. Like this. Great. Now adding the color to the patch. Select the Background tab on the Design Layers panel. Now we need to change the color. Turn the model to edit the color of the back patch. Like this. And let's add a pop of color to the border. Nice! Let's color the base parts of the cap now. 
You can select any part of the cap mockup at the Scene Elements tab, or just double click at any part on the 3D model. This is super convenient in Pro Visual. Now let's set up the material of the panels. We will look for the best textile option in the materials gallery, the fabric section. This material looks good. Let's apply it. Next, we will change the color of this material. Good. Next, we will copy the material from the panels and apply it to the outer bill. Turning the model to apply the same material to the closure. Let's stay here to set up the fastening color. The color turned out incredibly lifelike. I'm really happy with how it looks. Let's copy this color and apply it to the ring. Next up, let's infuse the seams with a vibrant color. Eyelets will be colorful too. At this point, I'm already loving the results. Let's carry on. Top button will be orange. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so we've set up all the materials on the outer side of the cap, and the result is definitely something to be proud of. Time to set up the parts inside the cap. We will tweak the color of the inner bill. Double click on this element. Then we will copy the material from the panels and will apply it to the inner bill. Now, let's set up the color of the panel's inner side. I think this color works well. Let's go for a bolder color for the taping. This orange is going to be awesome. Sweatband needs a splash of color too. Looks vibrant and contrasting. To complete the cap's vibrant interior, let's throw in a bright shade on the inner strap too. Great! We've applied the design to the cap and added the personality to the materials. Now I will show you how you can easily tweak the material of the design. Yes, the one we applied to the patch. Double-click on this element and select the design layer to activate it. I'm going to add volume to the design using our wonderful bevel feature. Awesome! Let's also add volume to the back patch. Perfect, the cap's all set to dazzle the client. Let's turn the drop shadow back on and select the matching background. We have lots of pre-made background options in Pro Visual. We can choose a solid fill as the background or we can go for a gradient fill. Here we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've made for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one we've made ourselves. Excellent! You can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Save your client's money by using Pro Visual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to Pro Visual, 
You provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on designing cap mockup. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.